This was my first time swimming in Mission Bay. I had been told growing up that it was too toxic to swim in, but little did I know that all this life existed underneath the surface. More than just fish, it was an entire ecosystem of corals. I didn't even know we had corals in San Diego until I started diving. These corals are called Gogonians. Corals are a collection of polyps on a calcium carbonate skeleton. Our Gagonians are not fused together by a calcium carbonate skeleton, rather by a protein called Gorgon. These polyps look very similar to sea anemones. They are in fact related. All corals and anemones are in the same phylum, which is the same phylum as jellyfish. Nadaria. In this ecosystem, we also have sponges. These sponges are very important. Sponges act like pool filters in that they filter and feed on bad bacteria and viruses that would otherwise harm animals in the ecosystem. I then spotted these strange white forms that I thought were sponges, but I actually later learned that they are an animal called sea squirts, also known as tunicates. They are actually in the phylum of chordata, which encompasses all animals with vertebrae. However, tunicates have lost their vertebrae and are the only animals in chordata that have done this. Like Gorgonians, tunicates are filter feeders, feeding on small plankton and crustaceans that come by on the currents. Another filter feeder on the reef here are tiny little animals called pheronids. These are in the animal kingdom and in their own group called the lophophorates. These strange creatures are not filter feeders. They are actually the eggs of sea slugs. These eggs came from this dorid, a San Diego dorid. This dorid, like many other dorids, feed on sponges. Perhaps some of the sponges we saw earlier. This McFarland store also eats sponges, making it a vibrant purple, telling predators not to eat me. Instead of eating sponges like our other sea slugs, it eats hydroids, like the sea anemones we saw earlier. It takes the stinging cells from the anemones and it incorporates it in its own body, making it toxic for other animals to eat it. However, some other sea slugs, like this California Navinax, don't care about this toxicity and will in fact only eat other sea slugs. A fierce hunter, it will eat any sea slugs that it finds. Though fish are noticeable and easy to spot when first entering the water, there is a lot more than just fish. It is a beautiful world once you start noticing creatures who may not look like traditional animals.
No fantasy or sci-fi writers could ever imagine a more strange and fascinating world of animals. From now on, I'll keep a lookout for those little guys who may not be noticed at first. And will I never forget how beautiful Mission Bay was to me.